published the initial results of the study early last year with uh, around two years of follow-up, and we did find high rates of response in both CLL and mantle cell. Uh, we saw very good tolerability. We were able to identify the, uh, the recommended phase two dose of the umbrilisib drug uh, as 800 milligrams in combination with standard dose of brutinib. Uh, and, uh, you know, the challenge with that early report was that the follow-up was, was quite short. And so really the idea with, with our update at the EHA meeting is now with around closer to four years of follow-up, uh, looking at the progression-free and overall survival for these very high-risk patients. Uh, the other thing that we looked at actually was the rates of complete remission, which did increase a bit over time, as we've seen with B-cell receptor pathway inhibitors, uh, and that was the case in our study as well. Uh, so really what we thought were the key updates from, from this poster were, were the PFS and OS data. Now with mantle cell lymphoma, these uh, didn't change too much. The median PFS was only around 11 months in this very high risk population, although the median OS was about two and a half years. Uh, to us, this didn't look too different from abrutinib as a monotherapy, um, but certainly uh, looked no worse, uh, but really hard to know if there's a difference there. Uh, 